All right, mamas, this is Lissa with Mama Wears Many Hats. Thanks for tuning in. I'm really excited to have you here. And today I'm going to teach you how to make the, I don't know if I'm saying it right. We're going to call it the whipped coffee on TikTok. It is Del, Delongoa. I don't know. It's, it's got a fun name there. So I'm going to show you how to make it. I see a lot of people making it and giving me a reaction. I have actually made this and in my opinion, perfected it. So I'm gonna show you how you do it. First, the basics, you're gonna use equal parts, instant coffee, sugar, and hot water. I'm using my teapot to actually boil the water, which I find, I think, helps it dissolve and whatnot. So that should be ready in just a second. For one cup, you wanna use two tablespoons. So um, here's my first tablespoon of instant coffee. Here's my second. It's okay if it looks more grainy than a uh, powdery. It works just fine. I'm actually using the Nescafe Classico. I highly recommend it. I've really enjoyed this and I'm kind of a coffee snob. So it's a pretty, pretty safe bet, right? So like I said, you're going to use equal parts, instant coffee, sugar, and hot water. All right. So we've got one tablespoon sugar, two tablespoons sugar. Okay. So that's that. Water is ready to boil. First hack for this, just so you know, is don't try and whip it by yourself if you don't have to. A beater, like so, will work just fine. If you have a KitchenAid or another beater like that, it'll work just fine. If you have an emulsion blender, I believe, you can try that. I can say what didn't work was my milk frother. All right, so it looks like my water's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and lift that up. We're gonna do two tablespoons again. Obviously be careful because it's hot. One, two. All right, so that's all in there. And now we get to mixing. Now I like to start in the beginning just a little, a little on a lower speed to get it all mixed up. Okay. Doing it this way, it's only gonna take you maybe three minutes total, okay? So you'll see it's all getting mixed in there. And I'm gonna actually kick it up now into a higher speed now that it's all mixed in. And you're just gonna move it around, same way you would if you were mixing a cake batter or doing anything like that. So you're just gonna start frothing it up, frothing it up. Um, you're looking for steep peaks. You can determine how steep you want it or how thick you want it and make that call yourself. Just know the first time you make this, you're probably not going to get it right the very first time. Trial and error is going to teach you how to get it exactly like you like it. I love coffee. I drink black coffee. I drink iced black coffee. My favorite uh, go-to drink, not at Starbucks because Starbucks Americanos are gross, but I loved a nice Americano. So I like strong coffee. I do not recommend trying this as is because it is not in any way, like even though it's equal parts coffee and sugar, it's not sweet really at all. But don't let that discourage you because I'm gonna show you what you need to do to make it amazing when you actually drink it. And I know this is not my normal uploading time frame, but I just, I saw people saying it wasn't that good and I'm like, you will not insult my coffee. This is my favorite coffee now. Like I would pay four or five bucks to go get this if I didn't know how to make it at home. All right, I'm gonna lift you up here and show you right there. You can see it's kind of starting to get the peaks, right? Just another minute or two and you'll see, this is only taking me a, like right at a minute. Okay, and you can even kick it up a little bit if you want to. That is about the consistency I like it at. Okay, you can see right here, it is nice and thick. And I'll show you the bowl. I've got a little steep peak in there. Looks pretty, right? First thing you're gonna do is get your cup. I'm using just a basic open mouth mason jar. I'm gonna get my ice and I'm going to use my milk of choice. I'm actually going to use some regular milk because the expiration date is coming up later this week and we normally actually don't use regular milk so I'm trying to get used, rid of it. So I'm gonna pour it in about this much, okay? Now, 
This is the secret that you need to know to have a successful whipped coffee. All right, this is the part that no one is gonna tell you. You wanna take a little bit of heavy cream. All right, I use this in my coffee in general, and not a lot, just a little bit, okay? My guess, if I measured it, it's probably about a tablespoon. You are going to take your, either a spoon or a spatula, however you want. I'm just gonna use a spoon because it's what I got right now. And you're gonna scoop it out. Now, just so you know, it doesn't make it like whipped cream consistency. I think that's something that looks like it is. It's thicker than that. It's denser, maybe is a better word, not thicker. Okay? So you see, I'm putting that in there. And you're gonna wanna use pretty much all of this. I have found that the two tablespoons is the perfect amount. Um, you might have a little leftover if you're using the size glass I am. Here's the next trick. You want to stir this, not with a straw unless you have a metal straw. You wanna stir it with something that is going to stir well. And you can see right here, we've got our milk, we've got our cream, and we've got our coffee foam. I am actually going to use a butter knife because it gets in there, okay? And I'm gonna start stirring kind of towards the top. To help it sink down. I may have felt it a little too hard, but honestly, I don't mind. I'm not even mad at it. And I know you might be thinking, is this really worth all the work? Is it, is it worth all the work? It is. I'm kind of a coffee snob. Coffee is my lifeblood. That's why I'm doing it on my channel. Even though it's not a mom specific thing, this has nothing to do with it being like a trendy thing right now. It has everything to do with it being a delicious coffee thing right now. And I want to share that with everybody. I'm gonna clean up the edge of my cup here a little bit. Cause like I said, I did get a little much in there. I'm normally making this for two of us. So, all right. So the more you stir it in, the bottom part is gonna get really good. This is not my prettiest one, but I'm not, again, worried about the cosmetics. I'm just trying to tell you how good it tastes. If you do this fancier, which I'll insert a picture of the ones I made yesterday, it can look really pretty too. And people will be really impressed on the fancy coffee you can make, especially if they're not on TikTok and they don't know where you got it from. They're gonna say, did you go to Italy? Did you do this? And you're gonna be like, no, I didn't. Sucker, I made a delicious whipped coffee. And I'm not cute to put together. That's how much I care about this video, guys. Mm, so good. So again, your hacks. Don't try and whip it on your own. If you have any kind of a mixer, use the mixer. Two, put just a little bit of heavy cream in there. That is what you're gonna want. It's gonna make it super creamy and it's gonna help cut the coffee so that it's not so bitter. Number three, equal parts. You only need about two tablespoons or a little less. I mean, make two tablespoons, but you'll probably have more if you're making a normal size glass, okay? That's it, mamas. Enjoy, have fun, nap time, make this for yourselves, do a little experiment. And if you do and you make a video, link to it below. I wanna see it, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. If this was your first time, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, or if coffee's your lifeblood, lifeblood? <laughs> if coffee's your lifeblood, like it as well. Hit subscribe. I don't normally do videos like this. It's normally a lot more conversational or practical, but today this is, this is what's happening. And my normal uploading is Tuesdays and Fridays. But just for the sake of this, I wanted to do it today. So enjoy mamas. Let me know if you like it. That's it.